All right, good morning. Uh, what we're doing today is we're taking the Solar Edge TX5000 and we're going to come put an outlet on it, uh, 50 amp uh, split phase outlet. It'll actually be 23 amps, but it's a 50 amp outlet right here. And we're going to use a, uh, let me get it right here for a second. We're going to use this 30 amp extension cord that I bought. We're going to wire it into here, convert it to split phase so that you can run a well pump with it. Uh, if you have a like a 30 amp, I'd say anything below like a 5000 watt generator is typically a single phase 120 or a, you know, an inverter that you can use to run your well or other 220 loads. And put this dryer extension cord. Now, I don't believe we don't need the outlet on it. It's just for the money, I needed some, um, I needed some 10 gauge four conductor wire, right? So you're gonna have your hot, your ground, your neutral, and your other hot and won't well, in a 220 application you won't use the neutral but someone may use a 120 appliance in this at some point now i've taken the liberty of removing these safety tags off this uh, rv extension cord because we're not in california and we don't care if it causes cancer okay so i took the dryer cord and cut off a little extra if i would need these are the four conductors out of the dryer cord. So I'm going to run them through the transformer, uh, three quarter inch conduit because it's a three quarter inch hole, into this uh, outlet enclosure box. You're going to do this, make sure you get a three quarter inch, about a half inch one first by accident. It's too small. You run the wires through like this. So what I did was I left these ends over here because I'm going to cut that off and use these, uh, I'd say copper, but probably brass connectors to go right in here. I played with it a little bit, I should be there. Besides that, even less than three quarter. Uh, it's already snug with these wires in here. You probably have a really hard time with half an inch. All right. So I'm going to cut these off and make the connections. So we're meeting as black as our L1. Red's going to be L2. Obviously, white's going to be neutral. Come in green and brown. We got the black one cut. Maybe use a screwdriver to get these connectors open. back and you can put a different crimp connector on here and stick them in here and then these ends I will just cut if needed and put them here okay it's the next day Amazon finally came so I was waiting on this heat shrink kit the 
this crimping tool and these crimps. The reason being is this is really intended for solid core wire or solid strand wire and it would be fine if I was just sticking the strand of wire tends to mush out underneath the screw. So especially it's not really intended to put more than one wire in there. Um, but because this is an adapter, it's kind of what I have to do. So keep it from spreading out. I got these crimps right here. I can put them in and keep the wire together. Use heat shrink to kind of um, strain relieve it. And we'll see how that works out. So I got that crimped, got some heat shrink on there. So I'm using a lighter, I'm um, a heat gun here. I'm thinking I may go get my wife's hair dryer and try that. I don't like to use a lighter because if we get it too hot. Um, but it tends, yeah, it's working, but, so I'll be right back, I'm gonna try the uh, hair dryer trick. All right, so I got the blow dryer. This probably wouldn't work with the industrial heat shrink, but it might work with the good and cheap automotive stuff. Okay, so I have the two uh, neutrals, L1, ground, and uh, you notice there's nothing hooked to here. So as we talked about before, L1 is attaching to L1. It's going powering the transformer uh, with the neutral and then coming back out as L2, it goes on this side. So let's see how well this uh, connects. Okay, as you can see, I have the top of the transformer off. I just wanted to get a close up. So we're gonna do self check here. Very important, you don't get this wrong. So our L1 comes in from our 30 amp, connects here. It's gonna be our L1 side. Goes back out, black wire. L1 is powering the transformer. The red is L2, comes back out to the other pole, which is L2. Neutral comes in, goes to neutral, comes back out. White goes to neutral. Ground is going to ground. Um, so the chassis is grounded. This is bonded through with metal, so it's grounded. And it's going to the source ground. run to another little snag this outlet will fit in this box probably if you had just one set of wires it's bunching up on the bottom and uh, I could force it down but I just don't think that's the right thing to do so I'm gonna run out to the hardware store and see if I can find a slightly deeper enclosure or wider so I went and got this adapter, make this a little bit thicker. I didn't have any deeper boxes. I'm sure it's a standard size box, so. All right, uh, so what I did was turn the box sideways so the power cord can go either direction right here. I uh, got my strain relief almost tightened off right here. 